guys and welcome back to my channel today we're going to do a tag video and this is a tag i have been tagged by amanda and it is called the project pen questionnaire tag <laughs> there's nine questions and then the tenth one is like kind of a question you know i'll just jump into it but check out amanda and she is amazing i'm doing some project pens with her um, and she is just amazing. So the first question is, why did you start project panning? I started three or four years ago um, with project panning. I talked about it in my panning pro tag, I believe it was called, that I will link down below. I saw this Danish YouTuber doing a project pan and I was just like, this is amazing. You are getting use out of your products at the same time you love them and stuff like that and you can make room for new products. Then I just searched on project panning and I saw a bunch of you guys doing it and then I just got more and more hooked and then I was like, I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to try to pan some of my old makeup, not that I adore but I don't hate it at the same time and uh, from there I got hooked. I really wanted to get use out of my products and use some up. From that time on, I was very, very good at going through my products. And my empties every month is huge. And one of my friends, she always wonder how can you get through a product so fast? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> then we have the second question. What is the most rewarding part of project planning? That is definitely to a pan of finishing a product. Um, or just seeing the progress you have made on a certain product to a pen or a bronzer or a blush or a highlighter is amazing to me because these are very very hard products and to just finish a product it was, it's like yes i finished this product and now i can move on to a new product and i just got my money's worth out of that product and that i have gotten new friends i have gotten so many friends amanda is one of them i talk to her like every single day i love my new friends through project panning. What is the most challenging part of project panning? That is definitely sometimes to hit pan on something because sponsor for example, that is so hard. I just finished my first run this year. Also to pan products without getting bored. I just made a video about that, how to stay motivated to pan. And it's very, very hard to use the same products every single day uh, until it's finished. I have some tips and tricks in that video that I will link up here to how you can stay motivated. Number four is how many project pans have you done? Do you plan on doing more? And the last question, yes. <laughs> I have so much planned and I'm obsessed with it and I can't stop. I love trying out new products and stuff like that. I am a W7 ambassador, so I get sent new products all the time. I think half of my collection is W7 now, which is amazing because they are so affordable and I have got some very holy grail items. And I will link that video up here because I just did, um, actually today, a whole uh, video of my holy grail products in my collection right now. How many products have I done? Oh my god, I don't even know. Um, I have done a few on my blog that I don't really care about that much anymore. A few on my Danish channel before I made English as well. And then I did like one, two, three, five, six. I did maybe like five to six projects last year and to this year I have done like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least seven, maybe more, yeah. <laughs> Eight. About that. I have done a lot, as you can tell. Um, I have done Panda Palette in like three years. I have done makeup use ups. I have done theme project pants. I have done a project 10 pants. I have done a lot. So I will have my playlist linked down below from 2015, 16, and this year as well for my Danish and English channel. Number five, are you also doing any other products in addition to Project Pan? For example, Panda Palette, Finished 5 by Fall, etc. As I just said, I have done a panda palette in like three years now. I have finished out uh, three palettes. I have done uh, finished five by Cinco de Mayo, four by Fourth of July, um, and then this year it has only been the theme project pants. Next year I'm going to take another spin on that. Do you limit your spending or go on a no buy while on project pen? Sometimes. 
Um, in 2015, I did a no buy for a few months because I went to Germany to live for a year, so I need to save my money for that. Um, and then I, I did Project Pen in while that, but it was not because of the Project Pen. I'm on a no buy now. That is not because of project planning. Project plans helped me to not buy any more stuff and being a W7 ambassador uh, also does the trick that I'm not going to spend any money. But my no buy right now is because we want to buy a house next year so I'm going to save up some money for that. Project Pen does help me not to think about buying new stuff all the time. And it's very very hard to be in a no buy when you're a makeup addict and want to buy it all. I haven't always had the money to just go buy stuff, you know. Um, so I'm not uh, the biggest makeup addict out there. <laughs> I'm not going to buy every single palette when they come out and stuff like that. And in Denmark you can't return it when you have opened it and used them. So that is also why I'm not just going out and buy stuff and when I open it I don't like it. I can't return it. Um, that's just a thing in Denmark, we can't. So yeah, I have some spending limits but I do make them my own. Seven, who are your favorite project panels to watch? Oh my god, there's a lot. Guys, I watch so many. I follow a bunch of panels on Instagram as well. Amanda, Jessica, um, LS is uh, a person as well, Lauren May Beauty, Kristen, uh, Joy, Linda. Oh yeah, and then the Swedish girl I'm doing uh, 13 by Sanctuary Sia with. Amazing girls. Yeah, I have a lot. Guys, I can't remember all of you, I'm sorry. What is your number one tip for a successful project pen? <laughs> Again, I did that uh, tips and tricks video, but that is just to uh, create your own rules for a project. If you want to declutter one, do that. If you want to only use gimmick products in your project pen, do that. So do a variety of products and give yourself cheap Days and stuff like that. I'm talking a lot about it in my video, so I will recommend you check that out. What is your goal for your makeup collection through project planning? My goal for my collection is that I'm not going to have old products in my collection. I don't want my makeup to go bad. My goal isn't to have a small collection. I cannot see myself to own one blush, one bronzer and stuff like that because I'm a makeup addict. I really want to try new products all the time and I do go through my stuff, so it's not because they are getting old. So my goal is to not have uh, very old makeup in my collection and um, to go through my stuff on a regular basis so they are not going bad. That is the kind of goal for me. The last question is, which project panels do you tag to do this questionnaire next? Well, um, <laughs> I am not sure who have done this, so I will tag uh, the ones in my 13 by Sancto Lucia project pan because mm, I love you guys <laughs> and um, some other girls I'm thinking of right now may could be exciting to hear as well. That is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed and please like this video if you liked it so I can see you like these tag videos. I really really like it. It is something different to just talk to you guys and you guys can get to know me a bit more. So if you have some tags you want me to do, please leave them down below. I will put them on my long list to do. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will stay tuned on my channel. So subscribe down below and yeah, I hope you're doing well until my next video. Bye guys!